November the 16th is in the books here on Wall Street. Here's the New York Minute. It's been a relatively calm day of consolidation, a slight correction from some of the trends we've seen since last week's remarkable victory for Donald Trump. But the winners and losers are becoming ever clearer. First of all, it's a victory for the little guy. The Russell 2000 index of smaller companies hasn't beaten the Russell Top 50 index to this extent in more than a decade. It's also a victory for the US and apparently a defeat for the rest of the world. The S&P 500 hasn't beaten FTSE's rest of the world index to this extent in all the time that FTSE has been keeping its index. Also, it's a victory for the strong dollar. On a trade-weighted basis, the dollar is as strong as it has been in 13 years. Now, a strong dollar is bad news for exporters. It makes, uh, it's also bad for their earnings. It explains why smaller companies are performing better. But if we take a look at rate expectations, you can see that there is also now an expectation that we will get two rate rises by mid-summer of next year. That's bad for domestic players as well. There are negatives here. For the time being, people are happy to concentrate on the positives. And that's the New York Minute.